planning to use some thicker board up here maybe um maybe some of this half inch you know half inch board or maybe go with this with this thicker you know uh uh three eighth inch board but let me show you why I'm, I, I have to use this um this thin board here um as you can see you know just going straight you know trying trying to straighten it out if that's flat right there you'll have this this weird little um angle here that that a flat board will not will will not bend at all so you have to use this little thin board to kind of close the gap and and you know this little this little thin board actually um flexes th that way very easily and i cut this arch here from from a piece that I, from uh, it's behind it from a piece that i had and i found that this is pretty close this arch is pretty close to to what i'm i'm looking for so yeah that's why i'm using this this here again this is going to be reinforced with uh fiberglass um anyhow so it's going to be pretty strong once i'm done with it all right so so this is what happens you just pick a spot and it'll actually flex so that will flex into that curvature i did that to the bottom too i don't know if you remember that all right so check that out that makes a actually makes a nice little you know dome curve that way and all I have to do is just you know stick a stick my pencil underneath draw draw the line underneath and just cut out the excess from the bottom <coughs> all right so that's not the best cut um, you know I come kind of rushing through it but that's okay um, you know, I, I actually wanted a little bit overhang just so that I can, you know, because I can't see with the pencil drawing underneath it. So um, next, I would just go back and just shave it, and I'm gonna end up rounding it, rounding it off, and I'm actually going to go beyond this and then fill it in with some bondo just so that I can get a nice round, um, uh, a round angle, not too, not too round, but round enough where fiberglass is going to flow over it. I can't have any like. Um, um, actual corners on the on the um, on any of it because I have to you know I have to roll fiberglass over it so it's got to be there's got to be a little bit of roundness to each edge just so that the fiberglass um, conforms to it and, and not not um, uh, buckle up or break but yeah sorry it looks like crap right now all right so I um, actually had to go to Home Depot really quick course uh, Home Depot runs usually not really quick but anyways I had to go get a um, some different uh, thickness boards I got this really thin one here and I got this um, this one here I believe this is a uh, what is this uh, half an inch so this is a half an inch um, you know as you can see you know this one's like a 5 8 here and you know, it's a little thicker but I wanted to get something a little bit thinner for this top part because it's going to be an overhead and I don't want it to be super heavy and I got this really thin one here because if you remember I got I still got this back piece here and I'm gonna have to just bend the heck out of this once I attach this piece once I um, you know reattach this back piece here and I'm just going to I'm gonna have to lay it over this way and then just bend the heck out of it this way and um, I know this one here, this is, um, I think this is a, a, a quarter inch. I almost, almost want to say it's a quarter inch thick, um, but I'm pretty sure this one won't bend to, you know, that radius there. And this thickness is, so this is a 2.7 millimeter thickness. So I'm pretty sure this is the thinnest one. What I should have done is built a, you know, a beam for it up above. But of course, I wouldn't know the the radius of this 
of this arch there you know I wouldn't know what it was anyways until until I actually cut it out and put a board over it like I said I'm just freestyling it I don't I don't have any blueprints for this I don't have any measurements you know I don't even know what any of these measurements are I'm just freestyling it you know just place one board over it and then you know trace it put one board over it and trace it put another board trace that and whatever I get that's my piece so I don't I you know I wouldn't even know how to replicate this again so freestyling it don't stop radius here and it was traced from this you know this radius here and as you can see it's you know it's a little jagged it's not perfect so but as I said before I'm, I'm, I'm just um, freestyling it but I'm not too comfortable with making this this arch here uh, you know a little too freehand because I wanted to look I wanted to look as as decent as possible so you know having jagged edges is not as, as it's not something that I like. It'll drive me nuts. Um, uh, as opposed to this, I mean, you, you see this here, but this, like I said, I'm going this. I'm going to shave it down and and smooth it off to this to this um, board here. It's just like that for right now. But I'm going to attempt to make this arch as as symmetrical as possible and as smooth transitioning as possible. The way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to measure one half and then and then measure the distance from the edge to the arch and then transfer that to the other side and see how close that that half is to this half. So that's what I'm gonna do. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm looking at it and I see and I'm looking at which half I like the best. Um, they're both kind of wobbly and, and wonky and I really don't don't like either one of them. But you know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to freehand do my arch on one half freehand and try to try to move it out as best as possible um, as long as it's close to my line to my actual line it should be okay and then I'll transfer those measurements to this half and then I'll fill that in and then and then um, this half here will be filled in will, will contour better to 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 this you know perfectly symmetrical art share so that's what's going on to with this piece here <laughs> all right so here's a closer look at, at what i'm talking about so i i did my center line and i pretty much got the the corner of this arch this half of the arch and you know somewhat the corner of this arch uh, so from the dis the distance from here to here is eight and a quarter um, and when I try to line this one up the distance I got from here to here is eight inches so um, as you can see this as you can see this arch here it's not it's not the best and then on this half is also you know even goes down and then it kind of goes back up so continuous it looks like the arch that it should have been because as you can see here um, I'm, I did a straight line from that point to that point and, and I got the same same thing here where this that appears to be the highest point there and then it kind of gradually declines on that side here so so all I need to do now is just grab the measurements on that side and and 
you know, mark them on that side. So, you know, the reason I want to share this with you guys is because, you know, obviously this isn't uh, any particular uh, trade skill or anything like that. And I wanted to share this, this with you guys because, um, you know, a lot of this stuff is, I'm figuring it out as I go along and, you know, maybe, you know, rebuilding an arch this manner, um, you know, drawing a straight line down below. And if it, if it peaks down too low, you draw a line above it a straight line above it and you know you, obviously you can't go below that line so there's different um, techniques that you can you can use at of uh, rebuilding an arch so this is how I justified how to rebuild this uh, arch the way I did so I just wanted to share that with you guys I wanted to make sure that you know I'm, um, I explain to you what I'm doing so I transfer all of these measurements onto this side you know just put the intersection point on each side and all I have to do is connect the dots. All right, so that's a better continuous arch. Those little things that will make a difference that will really make the truck actually look like a really good, um, you know, it's just the craftsmanship that you want to portray at least, you know, onto your, onto your design. Yeah, all I gotta do now is cut it out. And I want to pass this on to you guys. What I should have done is made this arch first before cutting this piece out. That way I would have cut a perfect arch on this one. So as you can see, I kind of, that, that didn't match on that side. It kind of matched on this side a little bit, but um, that's what I should have done. I should have made this arch. All right, so that's how that's looking there. Um, you know, like I said, I need to go back and shave the bottom part down, but that's how that's gonna look there and I'm also like I said this part this this corner here I'm gonna have to shave it round it off and like you know smooth it in and transition it to and onto this this plane here this surface here and you know some of this stuff will be um, filled in you know obviously I didn't, I didn't cut this bottom piece um, according to this to this arch that I built on this thing so that's okay I'll just you know fill it in a lot of the stuff you know a lot of the corners are going to be filled in with bondo like for example this stuff here has got to be filled in with bondo because I'm gonna I have to have a a a curve on everything pretty much a small a small curve where the fiberglass is going to be able to roll over it you know fiberglass does not like to go over sharp corners or 90 degree corners so um, you know a lot of this stuff here you know, it's going to be rounded off, you know, and filled in with bondo as necessary. So, you know, it's still a little bit of um, fabricating to do. All right, so the so the next thing I need to do is um, build this little valley here, and as you can see, I already cut out the the top of, of the of the piece that I'm going to I'm going to put a, a longer board over it.
So I managed to install this stud right here with this, you know, with this specific um, um, radius. And the way I was able to do that, I got the radius from this actual piece that I was able to recreate. Um, uh, but the thing is that these notches here that that I cut out did not match the did not match the the square piece that I had originally cut. So it, what what I had to do is, I mean, you can see I just, I had it just. I hacked the heck out of this corner here, this edge here, because it just didn't fit right with this with this cutout that I originally did, um, thinking that I was going to do a different radius with with like these guys, but using these guys here. But I had to do a different radius, and and nothing lined up. So I just I, I had to make it work. I, had, I did all this. I had to make it work. I'm gonna end up filling all of this stuff in with bondo and just strength strengthen this little joint here with that. Um, but the goal was to kind of make it flush or, or make it flat with you know so i can put my board up here with the, with this um so as you can see i'll still have a little bit of um cut out to do on this end here so i'm just going to end up cutting it all the way across that way that way this will kind of flow over with this one here uh so you know same same thing on the other side it, it looks like crap but um i was able to secure it down with that and you know i put this on um, supporting um pole here just so that i can i can keep the keep this from sagging uh, meanwhile so that when i get ready to screw everything down this thing doesn't move once everything's set you know i can remove that piece but yeah this this is how this turned out so i got the radius from this stud using this piece here All right, guys. So this is what I got so far today. I think I, I got quite a bit done this weekend. Um, you know, it's, so obviously, it's not completely done, but I think um, I was able to cover some ground today. And you know, the only thing I got left is, you know, just um, this is this isn't the piece I'm going to install. Um, I need to go back to Home Depot and get another piece and just do the whole, entire length from from this end all the way to that end, and you know, install the little little inserts here um you know i will be cutting this these this this pull off um but i need to but i need to get another an, another um stud the length of this here so you know keep this from sagging down um that way it'll support this thing up when i cut that part down um you know there's still a lot of fabrication that needs to be done uh, a lot of bondo work that needs to be done before I, I before I lay up my fiberglass um, you know and I still need to install my ends there you know I got this little really thin board that I, you know that's that's really flexible and so I got all my all my um, supports here luckily I was able to figure this the radius of the arch and this is this is what I got so far I think it's I think it's coming along pretty good. It's looking good. I think if, if you know, if I should say so myself, I, you know, I still have these little um, things that I'm going to, to install on the sides up here. Um, uh, not sure 
not entirely sure if, if it's going to be an intrusion or extrusions, but um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know what, what might look the best. You know, have him, have him kind of stick out or have him, you know, dipped in that way. You guys can let me know which uh, direction I should go, you know, any advice. So always, always um, appreciate it. You know, I've been kind of freehanding this whole thing. It's, you know, obviously it's not, it's not looking identical, 100% identical to the, to the picture. Hopefully this is, this will stimulate your interest and in how I come up with this stuff and how I, you know, figure out how to put it together. Let me know what ideas you guys have and what I can, what I can do to improve my design here. So it's coming along. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next video.